Hey everyone, so in lieu of my videos on linear equations, absolute value equations, and rational equations, I'm going to talk about what it looks like when you encounter equations that actually have no solutions. This video is really going to highlight what it looks like when you do encounter such an equation, and is going to go pretty quickly through the steps of solving it to begin with. So all the necessary steps will be displayed on screen, I just won't talk through them as much as I normally would. In general, a way to spot such equations is to work them through like normal, until you get to a point where you're running into something that is just not true. Let's try to solve the equation 2 plus 12x equals to 3 times the quantity 1 plus 4x. When we go through and solve this equation, we end up with the statement 2 equals 3, which is definitely not a true statement. So, when we end up at a false statement like this, we can go back and realize that the equation we started with is also false. So when this happens, we can say the equation has no solution, or we can say that the solution set is the empty set, denoted by this zero with a slash through it. For our next example, consider the rational equation x over x plus 6 minus 3 equals 1 minus 6 over x plus 6. We can solve this equation using the following steps, and we end up with the statement x plus 6 over x plus 6 equals 4, but any non-zero number divided by itself is equal to 1, so we end up with the equation 1 equals 4. Again, this is a false statement. So we know the solution set to this rational equation is also the empty set. Our last example will look at an absolute value equation. Consider 8 minus 5 times absolute value of 5x plus 1 equals 12. I'm going to solve this through so that I only have the absolute value expression on the left hand side and all numbers are on the right hand side. As I run through the steps of trying to solve this equation, I run through the statement absolute value of 5x plus 1 is equal to negative 4 fifths, which is a false statement. We know that when we have absolute value bars, they cannot output negative numbers. They can only output zero or positive numbers. Therefore, we have an empty solution set. 